Hi, this is George with NS345. This is video number five of my mix series number two. Today I'm going to be mixing guitars. Okay, so I have a bunch of guitar tracks as you can see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and I have a bus. I have all the outputs of the guitars, the electric guitars, rooted into the bus for the guitars. Okay. You can see here quickly, um, get a visual for what we have. Looks like we have an intro guitar. Then I've color coded the different tracks in hopes of making this video shorter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean them up because I was too lazy to clean them up at the beginning. And I'm gonna ungroup them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use strip silence. That's what it's called. I'm just going to zoom in just to make sure I'm not too close. Yep, good there. And if you look here. It's perfect. So I'm going to strip that. Hit strip. Going to do the same for this one. And because these two are the same. That's good there. Perfect. I'll leave those two there. Strip. I don't need this little deals there. Strip. Strip. And that's it for the guitars. Now we got a clear picture. Let's start with the first guitar. Oh, and before I forget, I'm just gonna select all the guitars and do a quick crossfade on all of them. Command F. Usually do 50 milliseconds, and there we go. If you want to zoom in and look, you can see there. It's a short fade-in. I'm happy with that. Okay, let me start on the intro guitar. Okay, so one thing that you can quickly see is that the guitars uh, have the tone already recorded, what the person that was recording wanted to hear. Um, if you listen to these, that's got a delay and it's got a reverb already on it. If you listen to these two, that's power chords, already distortion on it. And this is more of a lead. So I color coded them um, accordingly so it's easy for me to look at. All right, so I think I'm just going to do some basic EQ uh, on these.
Okay, so one thing that you notice immediately is the slide of the fingers. It's giving a lot of squeaks. So we're going to try and identify those and try to get rid of them. Because once you start compressing and towards the end as the mix gets louder and all the dynamics kick in, you're gonna, these things are going to start to pop up. So it's better to address them now. Okay, one thing that I can put on the guitar bus to help could be maybe a tape emulation. I'm going to use the Kramer. And this is just for maybe softening up some of the, the high frequencies. Very subtle, but it is going to help me taming some of the uh, high frequencies. Okay, so I've got some EQ here. Um, I'm going to bring in a compressor. I'm going to use the C1 compressor sidechain in mono. And what this is going to do is this is going to help me do some DSing. Uh, this is a little bit different from the DSer. Here I can actually choose the frequency that I want to focus on and I can see the, the gain reduction and I can use the different compressor ratios to help me focus on that. To do that, we have okay, three so modes in the EQ the mode. You have the side chain <coughs> split and the wide band. The EQ mode to split. That way I'm able to listen to the gain reduction and to the actual output of the signal. And I'm going to choose a band. I'm going to choose a really uh, narrow Q. Um, and I'm going to search for the sound. One, one tool that I use to find the uh, squeaky frequencies is the waves. Pass, uh, pass frequency and I'm going to exaggerate the volume a little bit just so you can hear better. Okay, it looks like it's somewhere around 3,100 between 3,000 and 4,000. So that's good enough for me. I don't really need that anymore. It's just a quick uh, tool that you can use, but you should really be using your ears. Okay, so you can hear the squeak four times. It goes, watch. Okay, so let's try and get rid of that. Let's listen to what it sounds like. It's a like gauge look ahead.
Mm-hmm. Okay, so the key here is you don't want a lot of um, com- de-essing in that specific uh, frequency because it's going to start sounding funny. So about three to four dBs sounds pretty good. I mean, I think that sounds okay. Let's um, let's see what it sounds like in context now. Well, there is no context.
okay, this is really not working. Let's uh, try something else. Let's try the C4 in mono. This is a multiband compressor. Okay, this one's working a lot better. So I don't want any uh, compression on any of the other bands. I set the threshold to zero. Yeah, I think this is doing it for me. So if I bypass it, you hear the squeak on bypassed. Okay, it is a little bit dark now, so I'm just gonna bring some of that back out. I have another compressor that I love for this. This is the Renaissance AAX. Okay, now you could hear that the squeak is gone. I'll bring in a little bit of EQ on it. Uh, Probably
Okay, that's okay for now. Let's uh, leave it there. Let's go to these. So same thing on those, need a little um, multi-band compression. And what I'm going to do is instead of uh, doing it on each one, I'm just going to create a new bus for these two. And I'm going to call this uh, picking stereo aux. I'm going to route the output to the electric guitar stem, which is e-guitar stems. Solo okay, safe. So I'm going to start with a de -esser. Back up. Okay, that's a bit too aggressive. Let's try um, the C4 multiband. Okay, let's try the C1. And we're going to use this one in split mode. Band. Look ahead. Okay, I'm happy with that one. Moving on. Definitely a big improvement, and that's uh, getting rid of that squeak. So, to recap, I use a, a C1 uh, band compressor with uh, the EQ mode and split, a, the uh, narrowest Q here, and the frequency, oops, around 4300. And and that got rid of that squeaking because once we start mixing and start applying dynamics, that's only going to get louder. And what I did is I combined these two into a bus. So let's see what else we need to do with these.
Let's go to these two. Do the same. Send those two to a bus. Just call this power. Park for power cords. Okay, there they are. Okay, I'm gonna send this to the electric guitars. Where did I send this one to? Oh man, no wonder. Buzz electric guitars. Okay, nice. Not a lot I can do for those, um, so I'm just going to take out a little bit of the uh, low end. Really just using that one for tone. have to go back to that. I don't like how these just go BOW! Okay, let's see this ones. Okay, gonna take these two, send them to a new track. I'm gonna call that um, Rhythm. And I'm gonna send this to my electric guitars. Solo safe.
I'm just listening for some bad frequencies. Okay, I know you hear that snare. And I say sorry, snare sound. Think of it as an eighth note. One, three, and four, and one. You can hear that there. So let me find where that's at. Let me just see if I could use the EQ7 to try and find it. Oh Lord, how do I get rid of that? Maybe I can't. But I can soften it up.
Hey, that sounds okay. have here okay just a little boxy thing I can get rid of that quick uh, again let me uh, send these uh, two to another bus new track we're gonna call this uh, arpeggio yeah Sorry, uh, what am I doing here? Um, so solo safe, send this to the guitars. Okay, let's see what this is.
Awesome. What did I do here? Yeah, okay. Ooh, that's some crazy stuff there. Nice. <laughs> And I'm cheating a little bit. I'm actually using the uh, compressor to uh, uh, bring a little volume up. And But the thing about this volume, it, it's that it's so clear, so, uh, so nice. It doesn't add a lot of color. It just brings it out and it doesn't add a lot of gain. Okay, so now um, I really don't feel like going through each individual bus and applying um, dynamics to it. Uh, but as you, as you can see, I've broken it down. I've broken down to through uh, through groups. I didn't do a lot of processing, just some EQ, a little bit of compression. Um, I don't have any effects on them, so I'm gonna add just uh, some delay on the bus. What is happening? Okay, you're tripping. 
sorry. Lead guitar, where are we? Guitars. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Uh, new track. I'm gonna call this uh, G Delay. Sorry, 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 sorry. What happened? What happened? Stay. There we go. Apologies. Here's the track. I'm gonna send it to the uh, electric guitar stems. It should be, where are you, where are you, where are you, e-guitar stem, sorry about that, I'm trying to make this big, um, and I'm going to use one of my favorite uh, delays for this type of stuff, H-delay, set it at around five. So I'm gonna go see something. Okay, that's why. Sorry. E guitars. Is there no group for the guitars? Guitars.
found it. There it is. That should be going to the lead V. Yes. Okay. Okay, let's uh, check out the guitars uh, with no plugins and with plugins. Really, these guitars were already recorded pretty good. Just had some minor uh, frequencies that needed to be corrected. As the mix comes closer to an end, um, we'll find more stuff to tweak to make sure everything's balanced. I'm not finished yet. I, it looks like I am finished mixing most of the instruments, um, but I'm still going to come back and make some additional tweaks. Okay, that's it for today. I'll be back later.